Hello friends, welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to create Google Forms. Google Forms are completely free and they are very easy to set up. So you'll see in this video, we shall take less than five minutes to have Google Forms uh, created. You don't need any technical help for you to have or to be able to create Google Forms. What Google Forms are? Google Forms help you to create responses or real-time monitoring of responses. So the first thing that you need to do is to sign into Gmail and then come to google.com. Then at the top right corner, you'll find these dots. Click on these dots and scroll down. You'll find forms. Click on forms. And then you'll be brought to this point. So what we are looking for is to create a blank form. But then you'll see that there is a template uh, of other forms. So if you click here on the template gallery, you'll find that other forms are here, which are already pre-built. So in the event that you don't want to create a blank form, you can think about uh, having a, a template that is already pre-built. So we are going to go to blank form. And then here we are provided with uh, an untitled form. So we need to create a title of our form here and then a description. So I'm going to come here and create a title. And then you'll see at the top here, it still remains untitled. So when you click here, the title of this form also takes the, the name of the form that you have created. And then here I can create a description. So the description of the of the form depends on what you are creating. So for my, my form, I just want to create a trip date and then I want to organize students who are going for a trip and then they should be able to the choose which bus they are going with. So I'll come here and create. First of all, they should be able to provide their names. So I'll provide name. And then I'm requiring a short answer. So this person should be able to just type their name, but this should be a required field. So the person should be able to type in their name. And then at the right here, I have something like add a question. So I'll come here and click on this plus button. Uh, my other question is just going to please choose their, their bus. And then I want a multiple choice question. And then I come here and then type that. That's bus A and then add is going to be bus B. So this should uh, already be enough. So three questions and the person should be able to choose which kind of buses they should be able to use either bus A, B or C. And I want this to be a required question. And then again, I'm going to come here to add the question. So my question is just going to be, I understand that I'll be I understand that I will have to pay $50 upon arrival. So I want this to be also a required question. And then the person should only be able to choose it and say yes. And then I want it required one. Click on send. So I can either send this form via email or create a, a link. So I'm coming here. This link might be long, but Google offers you the option to be able to shorten this link. So I'm going to click here and Google provides me with this short link. So I'm going to copy this link and then go to Google, go to type in, create another tab here. So I'm just going to click. So in the new tab, I'll come here and right click and paste and then press enter. So you can see that now my form is already created and um, people should be able to choose the kind of um, Andrew. And then I can choose the kind of bus that I want. I can say bus C. And then I take this and submit my form. So for you who has created the form, when you come into the form, you'll see that um, you have already a response. So when you click on the responses, you should be able to receive this information from the people who are signing up. So this person has signed up on bus C and they understand they should be paying this money upon arrival. So this is how you can come up with a form.